Now to our series AI Revolution and an exclusive look behind the scenes at Visa as it uses artificial intelligence to fight cyber criminals trying to steal your money. Here's Tom Costello. In the battle against credit card fraud, the front line is here. At Visa's command center in Northern Virginia, they monitor 76,000 transactions a second across more than 200 countries, facing off against hackers and fraudsters working from the U.S. and abroad determined to steal your money. These aren't your uh, typical teenagers in a basement somewhere. These are well-funded, well-organized groups that are backed by criminal organizations or adversarial nation states. Brandon Lercy received a legitimate text from Visa warning of a $2,000 fraudulent charge. Seconds later, a scammer called, claiming to be from his bank and sending him a link he should click. When he did, criminals quickly reset his password. Thankfully, his real bank, Navy Federal, blocked that attempt. And we were able to stop them from not only fraud on the credit card, but fraud toward my bank account as well. Visa alone reports an 11% jump in blocked fraud attempts from October through December. $110 million every day, with 60% of the fraud targeting e-commerce. When you use your Visa card anywhere in the world, the transaction comes through one of three Visa data centers like this one, where they run 500 analysis looking for any signs of fraud. Other credit cards, banks, and websites run similar 24-7 operations, sharing intel with each other and police. How much of your efforts depend on artificial intelligence? Uh, everything that we do here is powered by artificial intelligence. It gives us the superpower to analyze mass amounts of data so that we can detect those fraud patterns in real time. To avoid being scammed, experts advise avoid swiping. Use your chip card or mobile phone. Use two-step authentication. Never respond to requests for passwords or credit card numbers. And confirm websites are legit before pressing buy. We tend to fork over... Uh, our sensitive information when we shouldn't. We tend to click on that link when we shouldn't. And beware of pressure tactics to buy now before a good deal slips away. Tom Costello, NBC News, Ashburn, Virginia. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.